So what, Biz Mamas, what if I told you that I had a way for you to quickly create authority online, more findability through stronger SEO to your website, your blog, whatever your stuff is, and solve the problem of the perpetual hamster wheel where you're trying to figure out how do I create content? How, wh wh what's this content that I need, right? What if all of that could be solved in one fell swoop? And you could get leads from it. Highly, highly targeted leads. And it's all just podcasting podcast guesting. You don't need to start a podcast. You can just become a guest and you can leverage all of these super niche, niche, highly targeted podcasts. They're very loyal audiences. They do not need to be the top podcasts of the day on iTunes and all of that stuff. There are highly targeted podcasts that have amazing audiences that are super, super loyal and you can tap into them and you can get leads. You just have to have the stuff in place. You just have to have what it is you're selling, what it is you're offering, maybe a freebie, like a free video, a free downloadable PDF. Maybe you're selling a book. Maybe you're selling a small service. Maybe you do some consulting, but you have some sort of free video or webinar or something, right? And you can give them a quick win. That's essential, but you can become an amazing guest and you can really make a name for yourself and all of the benefits of being on a podcast are like so hard to describe in one sentence so that's what this video is about how you can become a podcast guest and how that can quickly quickly shoot you to the top with authority credibility and help you generate leads and content so stay tuned hey guys steph roberts here i just wanted to say so this one is for mamas and this is for business mamas. So here's the thing. I'm a podcaster. I've got two podcasts. I had um, a service package that I offered people. Business moms, what if I told you you could easily get your name out there, build your SEO, your findability through search engines, increase your authority and have someone else promote you to their audience and have that content be evergreen and give you an ability to create brand new fresh content without you scratching your brain and trying to come up with some crazy gimmicks and schemes to create the best content that you can but you already have a well to pick from because you've already made that content you just need to break it down into little pieces well that would probably take a huge weight off your shoulders. And that's what I'm here to talk about. A lot of women that I know are trying so hard to create content for their business, build their social media audiences, create leads and set up appointments, whether they're selling stuff, services, content, whatever. And it's a grind. It is a total grind. And if you're a mom or a caregiver, it's, so difficult to get into the flow to create brand new content because you got kids, you got dogs, you got elderly parents, you got like people to take care of, husbands, wives, whatever. And it's hard. It's really, really hard to stay focused and do your business and then also create all of this content. And in the middle of that, do your best to create a name for yourself, a personal brand and authority online. So that's what this episode is about. If you want to learn how to do all of that stuff, the easiest way possible, stay tuned and I will cover all of it. One of the things that I noticed over the years, both as a podcaster, as a mother, as a woman, all the groups that I'm in, it's always like we're all talking about easier ways to do this or that. How can I get more content? How can I get my content out there? How can I post more often without actually posting more often? How do I do it without having to actually do it? And it's, it's exhausting. Social media is exhausting. And most people would say you can't give it up, right? So what is another way that you can do that? Well, I know that a lot of people listen to podcasts and they've really, I mean, they were already, um, becoming more familiar and podcasting was taking off before the pandemic. But when the pandemic hit and everybody was stuck at home, even elderly people who never knew what the heck a podcast was like people like my aunt, sorry, Nan, 
Um, they were like, what's a podcast? They, they now know what podcasts are because now they're in cars. Now they're all over the place. They're just, everybody either has a podcast. They know someone who has a podcast. They have a favorite one that somebody turned them on to, whether it was your children putting it on your iPad or your phone and showing you how to do it. But it's become that much more prevalent. And so there are tons and tons of podcasts for you to get on. It doesn't mean you need to create your own. You can down the line when maybe you have more money, more time, your kids are older, your situation's different. But for now, if you're looking for an easy way out, the best way to get your name out there, to, to really strengthen your SEO, your findability, your search engine optimization so that people can Google you and associate you with that one, two or three things that you want them to know about is by getting on other people's podcasts. And it's because they are people who consume podcasts have some of the highest um, wealth, the greatest wealth of content consumers out there. So people who listen to podcasts tend to be well-educated. They tend to have higher incomes. Their income range is typically between 70 and 150,000. That's, that's the last average that I saw. And they also are very loyal. So they'll listen to a podcast and if they have to stop because they're doing the dishes and they got to put the kids to bed or they stop their workout and now they're going to get in the car and go home, they will restart the podcast to complete it. And they listen from beginning to end. So that means if you have things that you can jump on a podcast and talk about and offer as a either free or low cost solution, you're set up to really create yourself as an authority, to have people join your, your email list, to get into your, your funnel, which means you know you can connect with them again and maybe sell them another product later. So what am I talking about? Maybe you created, a, you wrote a book. Maybe you created a small course that's showing people how to do something. Maybe you have an online workshop that's live and you interact and you, teach people, I don't know, how to crochet or how to create a backyard garden and grow their own food, whatever it is. Maybe you spent years, 10, 15, 20 plus years in corporate and you're ready to exit and become a consultant. And in that corporate job, yes, you were revered in your role, but maybe they had kind of what I will call a corporate social media gag order where you're really not allowed to say what your opinion is and post things from your LinkedIn or your Twitter as you in your business role. So now you've kind of got this, um, this canvas, this empty canvas, and you can go out into the world and you can show up on other people's podcasts that are really strategic. So they have the audience who's looking for your solution and you can get on that podcast and you can be interviewed. And so that podcast host, who's again, revered themselves by their loyal audience, you get to get on and there's this implied endorsement from that person, the host, and they're saying, I trust this person. They have authority. They're going to teach you guys who are listening in the audience. They're going to teach you something, share with you something that's going to make your life better in some way. So they're lending your, you their authority and trust that they've developed with their audience. Then when you have that information, you share a story, you share some tips, tricks, whatever, to give people a quick win with whatever that is. And you send them to, again, maybe it's a free download. Maybe it's teaching them something on video. Maybe it's a workshop. Maybe it's a webinar could be your new book. Um, maybe you're telling them about an event that you're appearing at and you have a quick cheat sheet that's related to the event, a summit, whatever. Those things are going to build your list and the people listening are going to want to go check out if they're the right audience and they need what you have. They're going to want to go check out what you've been talking about on that podcast. So imagine that you're on a podcast, you just schedule it, you get on, you know, you have to pitch them first and all that. And I'm in the middle of um, creating a quick win course about all this stuff. But just imagine you're on 
and then the podcast goes live, you promote it on social media, the podcast host is promoting it, they're probably promoting it more than once. They're promoting it over and over again, usually with a social media tool that shares things regularly. So it's evergreen. It's out there for a long, long time. People can Google your name and they're going to say, oh yeah, um, Sharon Smith. Oh yeah. She's that hypnotist who helps people with stopping smoking or losing weight or whatever. Or um, Jessica Jones. She's the one who can help me learn how to create a garden that actually renders stuff that my family can eat and saves me a ton of money and we get healthy and all these things. So you don't have to think of stuff to put out into the world. You can obviously, once it goes live, you can promote it once, you can promote it again, you can get a transcript of that podcast episode, you can take sound bites. You know, you can make those into quote graphics. You can make an audiogram. You can use the host's audiogram. If it's a video interview, you can take snippets of the video interview, repurpose those as reels, as shorts, whatever. You can share them on LinkedIn or wherever your audience is and tag the host so the host knows that you're promoting the podcast too. And you want to make sure you clear it with them, but most of us podcast hosts, we're just so excited that somebody's sharing our podcast, growing our audience, that we're going to be really excited to have your help with that. And it's going to help you not have to be on that hamster wheel of content creation. You just have it and you have your virtual assistant, somebody you hire on Fiverr, your kid, your next door neighbor, somebody you want to hire and say, this is, this is my main thing that I do look through this transcript, tell me where it says these, you know, keywords that you want to be known for. Again, this goes back to the search engine piece. And then you're um, amplifying those points by posting them on social media. Maybe you're going to pull out some of it and actually extend it and make it as a blog on your, on your own website. And this is how you start to grow your findability, your online authority and credibility. And this is how you really reach a targeted audience because most people are searching first on YouTube. They want to know how do I do, how do I grow stuff that I can eat from my garden? How do I um, change this crappy mindset that I have? I have all this trauma from my childhood. Um, and they find you because you're that hypnotist who does that, who clears away the cobwebs from the past and helps heal. Uh, those are just two examples, but you get it. So imagine you're on, I don't know, maybe you pitch one a week, maybe you pitch two a month. As you get on these podcasts, they start to roll out and you start to accumulate all of these links from those podcasts back to your website and to your social media. That is how you strengthen your search engine optimization. That's, that's what it is. Your SEO, your findability and, and pay a lot of money for that. I worked for a company as a ghostwriter, an SEO company. And that was kind of my job was helping their clients get backlinks from all these bigger organizations that have a strong following and have, um, their own authority in a, something called an Alexa ranking. So there's, a way to rank websites and blogs and things for how authoritative they are, how many other people are linking to them. And so this is an amazing way to cut, to get your time back, be super efficient and give yourself that edge that you need, especially if you're creating something new or you've pivoted out of an old career into a new one. Maybe you're going hard on your side hustle or hobby because you've been doing it for years and people are asking you all these questions and you're like, that's not my day job, but I really want to go in this direction. And I think I have the knowledge to really create something from this. Well, this is how you can start doing it. And this is how you can really quickly create the authority and the credibility that you need so that when somebody Googles your name with whatever that topic is, they're going to start to see it coming up on the first page of, of Google. So that's my tip of the day. Let me know if you've tried to get on podcasts before, or have you considered it? Is it something you thought was only for certain types of people? 
What are the questions that you have? I'm pulling together a small course about this. This is something that I've done with my clients. And it's something that I just feel so strongly about because I hear people saying, oh, start a podcast, start a podcast. It takes so much time and energy to do a podcast. I'm not against it. I'm still a podcaster. But I just think if you want a quick win and you don't have a lot of time, this is, it's so much easier to just become a guest. And as a guest, you can start to grow your list and grow your audience. And so then down the line, if you do want to start your own podcast, because now you've got authority, you've got a solid email list, you've got a solid social media following, people are happy to have you on their podcast and promote you, you can go back on podcasts again and say, yeah, go check out my podcast. I had such a great time being a podcast guest that I decided to start my own podcast. So that's my advice to you. And I would love to hear from you in the comments. And yeah, let me know what you think. All right, have a great day and I will see you on the next video.